What's up everybody? I am on day two of my road trip, but really my first stop along the way. Today we are in Kentucky at Land Between the Lakes. This is my first time in this part of Kentucky and I will say the drive up here from Atlanta was so beautiful. Drove about six hours yesterday and stopped here at the land between the lakes. Land Between the Lakes is a huge national recreation area. It actually encompasses more than 170,000 acres. There are tons of miles of hiking trails. Right now I'm just doing this four or five mile trail called the Heritage Trail, and it's gonna take us up by one of the lakes, which I'm excited for. But you can do kind of everything in here. There's hiking trails where you can backpack and camp. There's a 50 plus mile overnight through hike on this area. There is horseback riding, there are bike paths, there is an off-road vehicle area. And later today, we're even gonna go to the Bison and Elk Reserve, which is also at Land Between the Lakes. As you guys can see, the trees are just a wonderful shade of green. It is springtime and everything is just coming back to life after the long winter. So it's absolutely beautiful. And all the fields along the way have also been full of wildflowers. So really, really been beautiful. The history of land between the lakes is actually really, really interesting. So back in the 1930s, they actually constructed two dams that dammed the Tennessee and the Cumberland River. And when they did that, they actually had to remove all the people that lived in this area. And there were about 800 people. And there's still some home sites that you can actually still see as you come through some of the trails here. Now this was the home site of Louis Vogel, who actually became the first postmaster of the town that once existed here. And right now I'm actually on the Vogel Loop Trail. Now, later on in the 1960s is when this became a national recreation area by President JFK. And when he did that, they actually had a couple caveats that went along with making this a national rec area. One would that it be open to all kinds of different recreation uses, hunting, horseback riding, hiking, biking, and that we would also have a town site where you could see the way people used to live. So there is an old kind of like homestead area where you can see people dressed in period costumes and living in the way that they would have back when this became the land between the lakes. And the third thing that they did was create a protected area where bison and elk live, which is what we're gonna do next. Now, Kentucky is probably the last place I think of when I think about bison, but one of the things they did here when they made land between the lakes was they set aside some land here to protect bison and elk because this was part of their historic range, which is mind blowing to me. But pay $5 to get in and there's a three and a half mile loop that you can take in your car. Kind of feels like we're going into Jurassic Park right now.
There are actually a bunch of bison just over the hill here. I'm not gonna get too close because you're actually supposed to stay in your car except for kind of the designated spots here along the way. But pretty cool what they're doing here. You know, I don't know that JFK, when he created this area, made this a national recreation area, knew what he was doing in rewilding this area. But if you guys watch my other channel ever, Nature News, you will see that I talk about rewilding a lot, which is really what they did here. You know, historically in America, the wide open pastures and things that we have were created from livestock. And you know, when we got rid of the natural grazers here that used to kind of keep bushes and things down, everything grew back up. So bringing back species like bison, like elk, that actually eat some of the little lying vegetation, help spread seeds and things like that, are actually really, really beneficial to the ecosystem. And it's really important to do things like this, just like they're doing here. And we need to be doing this in more places around the country as well, but really excited to actually see some bison here quite a few of them and I did see a couple elk way off in the woods on the way in too so highly recommend that you guys check this place out. So I've just been sitting here quietly watching the bison and they're making their way towards us. Hello big bison. Kentucky has certainly had some unexpected wildlife and adventure. I've really enjoyed this little stop over here in Land Between the Lakes. And if you guys are in Western Kentucky or driving through this area, definitely make a pit stop here. You know, I'm on a cross country road trip and I've got a lot more stops along the way. So I've got to get back in the car, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little hiking wildlife excursion here at Land Between the Lakes. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe, turn on those bell notifications and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next one.